once the drywall is up on this house, you won't be able to see the foam insulation. But Kathleen and Rudolph Costello will know it's there. And they'll always remember how it got there. I am so glad to know that I am taking part of, uh, being a part of that. You know, I, I could say that I, you know, I put this nail here, you know, I have put this wall up here, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a good an feeling, feeling that, yes. you know, that you contribute to building your own house. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. The Costellos are putting in their required sweat equity as future owners of one of these Habitat for Humanity homes. They're on site on Fernbank Avenue, just off North Main in Riverbend, where more than 100 volunteers are taking part in a Habitat Blitz build. Although many of their fellow volunteers are quite experienced, Kathleen admits it's all brand new for her. My husband is kind of well, a, a builder, more or less, you know, kind here of and there. Yeah. But for me, it's, it's brand new. <laughs> it's for me, it's brand new, yeah. So I don't know anything about building, but you know, I've kind of learned a lot just by observing, you know, and actually partaking and participating, sorry, in, uh, in the building. Habitat helps low-income families realize the dream of owning their own home. Working families make an application and once they're accepted, they're required to put in a certain number of hours of labor on the build before the home becomes theirs. It's all part of creating change through affordable housing. We're just putting a small dent into it, uh, but you know we try to stop the cycle of poverty one one house at a time, and uh, the next generation will hopefully, uh, because of that cycle being broken, be better off than their parents. At last summer's blitz build on Naran Avenue, a large crane lifted fully finished roofs onto the houses. This year, prefabricated pieces are being lifted up one by one. It looks less spectacular, but the director of construction says it's a more efficient way of doing things, and it keeps the volunteers happier too, because there's less waiting around. They came to work, they want to work, they don't want to stand around, so this was another way of trying to see if we could get everybody engaged, and, and that part is working really well. These blitz builds always draw a wide range of volunteers. One of the folks working hard on site today is Robert Sanderson. He actually just took possession of his own Habitat home last spring, and he says it's important for him to come out every year to give back to the organization that allowed him, his wife, and two children to have a home they could call their own. It's a different experience, especially when you really want to have that experience that you've actually contributed to building your own home. Not everybody gets that opportunity to say, hey, I've built my own home, you know, take a look at this. This is what I've actually accomplished and built it myself, whereas somebody comes out and actually you contract the work and somebody comes out and builds it for you and stuff like that. So it's a different type of experience. I, I've learned that once you've done it yourself, it, you get a, I don't know, a greater feeling about it than, than just buying a house. 2012 is the 25th anniversary of Habitat's presence in Manitoba. They are looking to complete 25 homes in the province this year alone, adding to a total of more than 250 since 1987. That is the largest number of any Habitat affiliate in Canada, and the organization says it's thanks to a community that loves volunteering. People love coming out here. They have swinging a hammer, whether they have a lot of skill or not, they all pitch in and find something to do, and it's a very safe environment, and they also learn a lot of new skills when they come out here. If you would like to volunteer, visit habitat.mb.ca to find out how to sign up. For Shaw TV, I'm Kim Babbage.